We're talking to Dr. Perry Curie from Tennessee State University in the uh, Department of Economics and Finance. And of course, Dr. Perry Curie uh, talked earlier about uh, some of the issues dealing with regulation. And of course, Dr. Perry Curie, what we'd like to do now is to uh, look at the uh, congressional bailout bill itself, yes. uh, how we were able to uh, come to a situation of uh, uh, passing a bill for $700 trillion as a bailout package. Seven Start, yeah. yeah, $700 billion. $700 billion. Yeah, as, as and uh, it may go up to close to one and a half trillions of dollars. Mm -hmm. That means fifteen hundred billions Billion of dollars. It's almost inconceivable. Uh, yeah, it is inconceivable, but uh, we have to do something like this. And, uh, otherwise, the economy is in a real sad shape. The unemployment has been going up and up. And on top of that, people are losing confidence in the banking system, which is the most crucial for our uh, economic survival. Mm -hmm. And once the people lose confidence in the banks, you know, we all in our the parents and grandparents have gone through this you know, run on the banks in 1930s mm -hmm. and uh, struggling hard for survival. Uh, we, you know, this present situation has reminded me of the early 30s. Uh, mm -hmm. What uh, not only this nation uh, has suffered, but also the rest of the world. Global situation. Global situation. Mm -hmm. It was uh, really sad. Mm -hmm. But uh, thank heavens, right now, uh, uh, Secretary, Treasury Secretary Paul, you know, Paul, uh, Paulson, uh, Paulson, Paulson, Henry mm -hmm. Paulson, mm -hmm. and uh, Ben Bernanke was the chairman of the Fed, mm -hmm. uh, Federal Reserve System, that is, mm -hmm. and of course uh, the FDIC chairman Sheila Baer, mm -hmm. uh, who has also helped improving the confidence level of the people mm -hmm. uh, by increasing the. Uh, hundred hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollar guarantee or insurance mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for each account mm -hmm. has been raised to two hundred fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars which again would create a little bit more confidence in the banking system mm -hmm. as a whole and especially when you look at this seven hundred billion dollar package which i think is very uh, uh, not enough to solve the problem, mm -hmm. but at least it will have Start a band-aid uh, mm -hmm. uh, kind of treatment, I, st I still think. Uh, even though it is being endorsed by both uh, uh, Senator Obama mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Senator McCain, yes. uh, there were also some differences, and uh, Senator Obama, for example, says he wants to go back a little farther than the $700 billion by making sure Mm -hmm. that every person who owns a home is not going to be thrown out mm -hmm. and uh, he wants to give an insu assurance to the people to make sure that these people are protected mm -hmm. uh, against uh, anybody uh, going out of their house own houses mm -hmm. Okay, in the first place we should blame the banking system yes. you know and, and other financial institutions who have made these toxic loans mm -hmm. And uh, it is the taxpayers who are going to pay the mm -hmm. heavy burden on this. However, the present plan has a very unique situation. Mm -hmm. You know, the, this is not just the taxpayers bailing them out. It is uh, the, it's like an investment, the way mm -hmm. it is structured. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Secretary Paulson and uh, Bernanke and Ms. Baird, they, they have done a, a fantastic job in coming up with the package along with the congressional leaders okay mm -hmm. and this is more important it has to get their approval first and then you know mm -hmm. and they were able to convince them and uh, this is really very very good again mm -hmm. like i said the package may be uh, increased mm -hmm. to up to one and a half trillions of dollars mm -hmm. that's my estimate so you again. don't believe that what has happened now is is really a, there's there's really enough money in here to do what they would like to do uh, on this first go yeah, around th yeah they would like to do a lot more but you know yes i mm -hmm. but first round in it's all right mm -hmm. now in the same context uh, the congress uh, miss pelosi was the chair you know who is the mm -hmm. uh, leader of mm -hmm. the democratic party mm -hmm. who has come up with the idea of putting another 300 billion dollars mm -hmm. as a uh, another uh, relief package for mm -hmm. uh, you and I that's the outside of the uh, out, uh, outside uh, uh, of the uh, 700 billion dollars mm -hmm. now out of the 700 billion 700 billion dollars 250 billion dollars is go is going to be allotted mainly to 
in improve the confidence of, of the banking system. Mm -hmm. What the Secretary Paulson and uh, the Chairman uh, mm -hmm. of the Fed, mm -hmm. Bernanke, oh. Bernanke and Bayer, what they have said, they brought all these bankers, nine mm -hmm. bankers, uh, alpha, in alphabet order, mm -hmm. told them to come into the place, uh, into the conference room, and they passed a sheet of paper saying everybody should sign this. Mm -hmm. In that agreement, what they said was, uh, make sure mm -hmm. that you are going to let the government put some money in there in exchange for preferred shares in your companies. Mm -hmm. Even though a couple of banks do not need that, mm -hmm. still they insisted mm -hmm. that they also take it so that they don't come around with a begging bowl mm -hmm. again later on. So they want to make sure, Secretary Paulson mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, Ber uh, and Bernanke mm -hmm. and Baer, they all mm -hmm. wanted to make sure that they do not have to go back again and request mm -hmm. the congressional mm -hmm. leaders and all. So this $250 billion out of that, these nine banks will get $125 billion mm -hmm. in exchange for their preferred stock mm -hmm. with a 5% interest which they have to pay to mm -hmm. Uncle Sam. Mm -hmm. Plus, it may go up to 9%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And up so this is, this is sort of viewed as a method of saving the taxpayers and making sure that the taxpayers have an opportunity to uh, get something back from this. Yeah. But now, uh, 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 Dr. Parachuri, uh, when you think in terms of uh, these nine banks, and you remember that in a real sense, uh, that was, it was the banking situation that was the most critical in terms of this whole situation. What uh, can convince us that these banks are willing to turn that money over? Because they, they, there's a tendency this, at, uh, on the part of banks to sort of hold yes, money. Yes, you're absolutely correct. I have the same doubts mm -hmm. because uh, when uh, small businessman goes to the bank and say that he needs a short-term loan they are not getting it mm -hmm. and uh, this present process it will take time mm -hmm. uh, uh, let's not uh, mm -hmm. have misunderstanding about it you know it's not an instant uh, mm -hmm. fix it will take time by the time and the bankers have to release those Reach funds the uh -huh. and they are releasing slowly uh -huh. okay and, and and of course uh, we, we'll uh, going to take a second break and then we'll come back but it does seem to me that uh, Unless these banks release this money, then there can be no, no they, public confidence in reference not, to it. Not and at so all, and the, and the economy will be in the same real situation. As they and of have course, been. we'll pick this up after our uh, second commercial break, and we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. Okay. The topic is the.